Hi there everyone, I'm Billy Kirkwood for Insane Championship Wrestling and I'm here at the Hydro in Glasgow which is going to be the site of Fear and Loathing 10 that takes place this Sunday, November 19th. Tickets are still available but we're here with a very special episode of Facebook Face Off and I am here with both sides of our main event this Sunday. The undisputed heavyweight ICW champion will be decided in our main event. Let me introduce first of all, Zero G champion, the only Grand Slam winner in ICW, the oddity BT Gun. And I'm also joined by the world heavyweight champion, the Iron King, Joe Coffey. It's gonna be a big night this Sunday. First of all, a match, a night of, it's all killer, no filler on Sunday. Anything in particular you're looking forward to, Joe? Apart from, uh, apart from the obvious, you know, there's a, the, the card is very good. It's uh, full of top competitors, and uh, interesting. My, I think uh, my interest will be taken to, you know, Rey Mysterio and uh, and Kenny Williams. Right. I think it'll be a very interesting match. We never know when we'll get to see or have the pleasure of having a legend such as Rey Mysterio uh, in ICW again. Um, I think the ladder match as well, for obvious reasons. You know. Myself and uh, BT, whoever wins, me, uh, will get to see who the next challenger is. Who's worthy? Anyone, anything that stands out to you? Uh, well, Joe really touched on the points. Uh, Kenny Williams Ray is uh, something I'm really looking forward to. Uh, and the ladder match is definitely one as well, because then we get to see who goes on to face the person at Battlelands. Me, yeah. Uh, so yeah, pretty much the same as him. All right. It sounds like you're pretty tunnel vision guy, so let's not mess about. I know. Uh, I know what she said. Grand Slam. This is not a Grand Slam winner. You're not a Grand Slam right, winner. Right, we get that. No. Yeah. Well, no. No. Let's, yeah. let's not. Let's not beat around the bush and let's not forget the facts. Okay. Let's let's not forget the facts because history tells me that you aren't a world heavy world heavyweight champion. Okay. And you won't be. Mm. And you won't be. You will not get that idea out of your head. Grand Slam winner, whatever you think the Grand Slam is, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You will not be a world heavyweight champion. Tony, your voice, Joe, I feel like you're a wee bit fear, a wee bit fear that I, I will walk away with that belt I and I will become the first Grand Slam and the first person, well, it's actually the second time to beat you this year. Well, I mean, yeah, you did beat me. That's that's yeah. fair enough, but that was a tour victory, okay? Tour victories are very... Tour matches are very different. It's a different ball game than a match in an arena. I am known, and I have built my reputation, built my reputation on matches like this. Big money matches, okay? Big, big money matches. That's where I've built my reputation. That is what I'm known for, winning in having these matches. It's just a shame Dave Meltzer isn't, isn't about watching these matches. It'd be five star or six star or whatever. Not that I particularly care what he has to say, but you know, it adds value to the match, just like my name on this marquee does for the second year running. Okay, where's the, where's the assistant? Where's the assistant? I've run out of coffee. We'll get, we'll bring, get your new one. Bring me my coffee. Gideon, okay. or whatever your name is, here. Bring me my coffee, get another one over. We'll get you a new one as soon as we can. Right, let's, let's talk about what it is. The main event. Back at the Hydro, Fear and Loathing 10. 10 years in the making, a huge night. What is it between you two? Because there has been, it's tension, but no one really seems to know where that tension comes from. What, what is it between you two? Because I know you're both looking forward to the match. Mm -hmm. I know you've been, you've been buzzing about it since we arrived here today. What is it between you two that is that leads into this match that everyone needs to buy tickets to come and see. Always have utmost respect for Joe. You know, I, the only thing I think is, ever since Rudo Sports Entertainment joined you, you're a totally different guy. Mm. I remember the day when you stood in the garage when you went in that briefcase and you told me you'll fight me anywhere, anytime, and something, something changed in his Rudo. And am I not? Yes, yeah, fair enough. Took a bit of gloating, took a bit of winding you up to get there. But what happened? What happened? Why did you suddenly just become this new guy, this, let's say, asshole? Okay, so you, you were asking the questions. Okay, sorry, Billy. Sorry to, sorry to make you redundant there. Obviously, 
uh, BT Gun thinks he's, he's the interviewer now, so if you want to ask the questions, I'll provide the answers. Now, there is a lot of reasons, a lot of reasons why I changed my tune, why I changed my attitude, simply because one was of this company. They had maybe two, three chances to make me their marquee guy and failed miserably when they had the chance to capitalise on it. When I was the brand of the Iron Man, beating my chest, six, seven thousand people cheering, and cheering me, singing along. Well, that wasn't just a flash in the pan in one night. No, no, no. That was a build-up of two or three years' hard work. For example, two years previous against Drew Galloway in the Battlelands. Should have been me. Fortunately, I wasn't good enough that night to beat it, to beat Drew, but there was plenty of other chances, but got stopped and stopped, not the right opponents, not the right night, your time will come, all that nonsense. Another, another factor is the fans. I done it for them initially, because without fans, there is nothing. But now I've had a different change in attitude because it's about me and it's about time that I started realising that. It's about time to get selfish. Because in this business, you have to be selfish. Can we, can we cut that noise, please? The Iron King's talking. In this business, you have to be selfish. And I've realised that. And I think you're starting to realise it now as well. You know, Chris Renfrew at your back. You know, he's, he's giving you your voice and he's giving you a tongue back. You know what I mean? After cutting it out. It's time to stand up for you to be selfish. Maybe you might learn a thing or two by stepping in and wrestling the Iron King. Sure, you'll fail. Sure, you'll fail. But you might learn something. The fans. They do, they do not dictate what I do now. And as far as Andy goes and Rudo, no one speaks for me. I speak for me. Always have, always will. He's just there to do the work that I cannot be asked doing now. And I thank him for that. And I thank him for his company, for his time, for his effort that he's done into pushing the promotion, the brand of Joe Coffey. Because it's because of him that this means something again, properly means something again. I hope that satisfies, I hope that satisfies your queries. All right, guys, this is going to be the last chance for the used to, to address each other in this, we'll call it a, as civil as we can make it sort of situation, right? So imagine if you were, this was a courtroom. I think we're just getting started here, Billy, to be perfectly oh, yeah? honest. I think we're just getting started. I want to hear more. I want to hear more. What's your thoughts on it then? I'll ask the questions. If you want. What do you, what's your thoughts on it? What's your game plan? What's my game plan? Well, Joe, as you said, just, maybe just... May have just been a tour for you, maybe just a wee normal match. But to me, it meant a lot. The first guy to beat you in almost a year. So I'm going to take everything from that come this Sunday. I mean, I'll give you your due. You, you won that night. Yeah. But I, mean, I have, it's a professional, you know, it's a professional rivalry. It's nothing else. Mm -hmm. I don't hate you. I don't hate you. I respect you for getting the balls to step up and play to step up and try to take this away from me, I respect it. But that victory means nothing. That, uh, that, is, a, that is a mere blip. It does, it does not exist. People will not remember that. Where were Bristol? Bristol, they will not remember. But they, they will remember the Iron King standing tall. Winning this match on Sunday means that you are the undisputed champion. Singles competitor in ICW means you are the best. I know that's something you both strive for. We, how many times have I said in commentary or you've heard that other people saying BT Gunn is one of the best wrestlers in the world? Joe Coffey, the big money, best big money fighter in pro wrestling today. What does it mean to you to say you're the best? Because you say it's a professional rivalry, it's professional tension. That's all it is, that's fair enough. So, what does it mean to say that you're the best? Taking away who you're Taking away from who you're wrestling tonight, what does it mean to say that you are the undisputed best? You know, I, I do not need these titles to tell me that I am the best. I didn't have this title and I already knew that I was the best. But it's a nice token. It solidifies, it cements all the hard work. 
And I, I do not need a zero G title to tell me I am the undisputed heavyweight champion because I am. But what I will do when I add that title to my collection, I, I will give that, I will give that division a kick up the arse that it so rightfully needs. I, I will change things. I, I will rebrand it. We have discussed several options, Rudo. We have discussed it. But I, I will rebrand it and it will be something that you will have not seen before in professional wrestling. And I will juggle both weight limits. If that is what we decide on, if it's a weight limit championship, obviously this is the heavyweight. If that is a weight limit or a style, then I, I will adapt to that. Because that is what the best does. Can't see he's wrong there, to be honest with you. Yeah. You alluded to something that everyone said the, the first Grand Slam winner. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, sorry, heavyweight champion, zero G champion, tag champion. And I'm not saying this to cause an issue, but you've never won the world heavyweight title. Became a world heavyweight title during Drew uh, Galloway's reign. So he went on, defended it around the country. Now Joe is the reigning champion. So is it the one thing that's missing in the legacy of BT Gun? One of our guys here for almost dot one, day one. Yeah, pretty much. Like people, be, I've said for years, I'm not really interested in getting back to the main event scene. And you know, as soon as that became the world belt, it was the one last thing that was remaining to do. The one last thing I had to do to prove to myself. I'm not saying like I need the belt, just like Joe said. I don't have to have them. I'm just I want to know myself if I can still be there, still be the top of my game. I'm nothing better today than wrestle Joe at the Hydro to do it. Now, I know you're saying there is no just professional rivalry here. Mm -hmm. But there's always been two names in terms of match quality, two of the iconic names, certainly in the last five years here in ICW. Oh, and that has been Joe Coffey and BT Gun. And yeah, you've had your, your matches. But this is the match. I mean, you hear about other ones. You hear about Hogan and Warrior, uh, Styles, and uh, well, think about numerous opponents. Mm -hmm. This is that match in ICW that we've never seen on this big stage. So this is it. End of the courtroom. What is your closing statements to each other? We're taking away titles. It's two men to prove who is the best on that night, whether self-belief is in the equation or not. It's going to come down to a three count or a submission or even a knockout. We can throw that out there. Yeah. What's your closing statement to each other? Because this is the last one until you are in front of what we believe is going to be 4,000 fans here on Sunday. What is your last thing you're going to say to each other? Because next time it's going to be lariats, it's going to be savat kicks, it's going to be submissions, it's going to be no holes barred. Well, mm. within the confines, of course, of the safe pro of wrestling safe pro rules, rules. Cause which that, is still part of the match. If anyone wants to step up, that is the rules that they have to adapt to. I do not believe in insane championship wrestling I do I don't believe in its its integrity anymore so I have now changed things for the better but before we get to the final statement then mm -hmm. traditionally here on ICW it's no holds barred we've got rope breaks mm -hmm. submissions but there's going to be count outs going to be disqualifications for the first time in a long time you're going to be in a match where you could potentially lose this main event on a count out or or a disqualification What's your thoughts of going into that match? Well, I, I'll just answer that. I, I have changed this because I know how to work within the rules. I know how to work within the system. I'm a master, master psychologist in the ring. Mm. And that is why I've chose this because not simply does it suit me, but it doesn't suit me essentially because I could go out and get a steel folding chair and wrap it around someone, but no. This is to see who is the best professional wrestler every time I step in the ring. Because it's straight up. This is a straight up game. And we are, all, we are going all in. For this one, I'm like a poker player. Sometimes I'll make a conservative move to better my career. But for this one, I need to go all in. I, uh, I, I need to go all in. I need to prove to myself that I am truly the best in this company. All right, here we are. Kip's down then. Final statements. There's no, there's no selling. There's no Rudo. There's no, there's no one else here. It is Joe Coffey talking to BT Gun. What have you got to say ahead of that bell ringing to each other 
two men to prove who's going to be the best in our main event. I'll come to you first. To be honest, let's just see who uh, will be the best on the night. Pretty much, we all know I don't really speak that much. I do the talking in the ring. So pretty much, Joe, I'll see you Sunday. Let's see what we can do. I, I know that. I know you do your talking in the ring. And so do I. But it's only in the past year or so that I have taken on this role mm-hmm. and facilitated this this uh, this role to, to push this company, to, to help this company, to, to lift it up of its knees and help it. I do my talking in the ring too. You know that. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. But you know, the thing is, you know, being in the main event, as you well know, is a hard, hard task. Okay? Now, main event style of wrestling is a whole different ball game altogether. I've been doing this for almost three years now. Main events. Have you altered your training? Have you thought about the longevity of this match? Have you thought about how taxing it's going to be? Because I sit there at the monitor and watch every single match. And there is not a lot of people in this company who can keep up with me. Simple fact. I like to wrestle about at the start. I'm a master psychologist, as I said. I like to wrestle. And sometimes it ends in a stalemate, deliberately. I'll end that in a stalemate just to see the other person and their body language and their reactions. And most of the time, they're breathing heavy through their nose or their mouth. And at that point in the match, I know I have them beat. So I hope, I hope when I look across, I do not see you doing that. You are standing tall because I want to take it to the limit. Because as I said, there is not a lot of people in that locker room who can go toe to toe with me. As I said at the awards at the start of this year, I held my boots up and challenged the rest of the roster to get their small toes in the Iron King's big boots. And not many have stepped their game up, but you have. And that is why it did not matter. You did not need me to go. You did not need to goad me into choosing you. It was always going to be you. So we shall see come Sunday. Because this is definitely not going anywhere. And I will win. And I will take this company forward to even more dizzier heights. Because this is how it feels to be Rudo. This is how it feels to be champion. And this is how it feels to be king. All right, gentlemen, I wish you both the best of luck in the main event of the Hydro. We're going to leave this right here. Guys, you've got to get your tickets. It's going to be an amazing night of pro wrestling. We have the tag team titles on the line, the women's title on the line, and the King of Insanity match, and so much more. But you cannot miss Champion versus Champion. The ICW Zero G Championship and World Heavyweight title is going to be on the line in the biggest main event of ICW's entire year. You've got to get your tickets now at ticketmaster.co.uk. Gentlemen, thank you very much for your time. I've been Billy Kirkwood. We'll see you on Sunday.